Stan Jibalisco here from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Anomalies. I've made comments in a couple of past videos about the behavior of the local white-tailed deer population. Uh, I live in Lead, South Dakota, which is about three miles south of Deadwood, and every morning uh, weather permitting, at about 5 in the morning, I drive down to Deadwood in the dark at this time of year to swim. <laughs> and I always go very slow. Speed limit's 45. I go as slow as I can. And if somebody, you know, 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour, leave my brights on as much as I can, watching for, in particular, the apparent suicidal behavior of white-tailed deer in this area. If you find a deer, if you see a deer, say, lurking off to the side of the road on the right-hand side, watching you as you approach, chances are about 9 out of 10 that if it can, if, if, the, if the way up the hill, well, whether the way up the hill is blocked or not, Chances are about 90% that that deer, at the last possible moment, will dash out in front of you and try to beat you across the road before you can hit it. Uh, exactly, almost like, like it's trying to kill itself. And in fact, there have been occasions in which the three-mile stretch between Lead and Deadwood, I found as many as four deer carcasses just hurled off to the side of the road, obviously struck by vehicles. A lot of deer get hit by vehicles around here. A lot. And there's also a general overpopulation of deer in this area. And it just occurred to me, I wonder, just wondering now, just musing, mysteries and musings, you know, could it be that the fact that the deer are so overpopulated is somehow embedded into their collective consciousness in such a way so as to cause them to attempt to commit suicide on an individual basis in order to thin the overall population of deer. Could there be a collective consciousness amongst the species? Uh, that theory has been propounded in a number of cases with other animals, uh, not necessarily that they want to kill themselves, but uh, you've heard about uh, certain kinds of fish uh, beaching themselves, uh, certain kinds of, uh, what is it, lemmings that run into the sea, and uh, other such things. I wonder if that's a possibility. Now, every year there's usually a deer hunting season and part of the reason for that deer hunting season here in the black holes is to thin the deer population. Now they're cute little bambies and I hate to hit one of them but someday I guess it's just about inevitable that I'm going to hit one of them no matter how hard I try not to because these these cute little bambi buggers are apparently suicidal and I just have been driven to wonder whether there is a collective consciousness that tells them your population must be thinned on an individual basis you must die. Collective consciousness is a strange thing. It may even exist in the human species perhaps overpopulation of the earth. I'm not even going to get into that. No, I'm not going to go there. But I just wonder sometimes. Of course, I wonder a lot of things. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until the next deer gets struck and killed between here and Deadwood, hopefully not by me, and even thereafter, 
and forever after as long as I shall live. So long.